what's up guys we're here fixing to hit that uh that backyard farm pond so uh this is the farm pond that's right here in my backyard basically uh that's where i hit them catfish at and was surprised because we ended up catching some pretty nice bass out of here me and the boys they came back later and got on it so uh kind of pulling up here just to check to see what it looks like I think these fish are gonna be I think they're gonna be in here pretty tight. So that's alright. That means we're gonna have a good time catching. So there she blows. And uh go ahead and get back with you once once I back up in here. It's a big ass turtle over there. But um yeah, I'll get back with you once you get once I get back here and get set up. Oh man, if I feel like there's gonna be tons of snakes. But uh, we'll see you in a minute. Oh guys, I messed up. I went ahead and hooked into one before I'd even pressed the button. Messed up guys, we got a good one though. Look at this guy. Look at that on that on that booyah buzz bait this is when i got in the monster bass box i don't remember what month but look at that guy Woo -wee. that's a good looking fish there boy good looking fish dang good get this guy cleaned off get a picture for the gram and i'll get back with y'all all right guys we're back and yeah that was uh that was the first one on this uh on this booyah buzz bait i'm not a i'm not a buzz bait fan but for some reason i was in the garage i was going through my stuff and i was like you know what i'm gonna throw that on there i'm just gonna throw it on see what happens and sure enough i mean literally that was my first cast guys i got out i threw it boom hammered caught the fish i didn't even turn the camera on yet which was stupid i should have turned it on right off the bat but but we're gonna get it let's see what happens it's a little windy so it's kind of hard to cast this out there but i guess we'll find out i mean really i don't know where else to throw all this is just nothing but grass over here it's just mats upon mats and just moss and grass over here the pond is extremely low extremely low but um man it almost looks like uh, i've got some beaver activity back here too and that is no bueno but all right we're gonna try to get what we can get with this wind it's not letting me get too far nowhere I gotta keep my eyes out for snakes, guys. Cause it looks pretty snaky over here. Oh, God dang it. I didn't let him take it, guys. I didn't let him take it. That was straight. He smashed it, pulled it right out of his dang mouth. Ah, dog. Go ahead and retire this bad boy but well, you did me good there buzz bait you got you got one on the board god dang it you got one on the board for me 
I appreciate it, sir. Oh, God. If y'all are wondering, this is uh, my major league collaboration of Boo Garcia. And it is a, uh, it's a 7.3 heavy. 3 8 to one and a half ounce lure, 14 to 30 pound line. I'm actually running a 50 pound Berkeley braid. I think, I think it's TX9 or something like that, however it goes, but it's a Berkeley. That's pretty much all I run is Berkeley braid. Uh, 50 pound, like 30 to 50 pound on everything, basically. Um, I, I don't run mono and I'm not a fan of fluoro. Even though in my last video that I put up, which is out today, um, or uploaded today, I was actually using fluoro. And uh, what is it that, what is it, K9 fluoro or something like that? The one that we got in the Monster Bass Box. I'm not a fan of it, but I bought it just because, or well, I didn't buy it. I just. I used it because it was in the monster bass box so i was like oh i'll try it out you know okay so i actually rigged that pole up for my wife and everything and i had her with a little wacky rig and stuff when we went to the creek and all this stuff so it's actually it's not bad i just wish it would have been a higher test because i think it was 12 pound test and dude i snapped like i don't even know like three or four times I broke off and shit. Even when she was using it, she broke off. So it's not very strong. I don't, I mean, even with 12 pound test, like dude, my kids have got poles that's got 10 pound mono on it, you know? And it seems like it holds up a lot better than what that did. But that's just my opinion. I wonder if we try this little This little uh, Guggen spinner bait. It's a zinger. And dang it, guys, I didn't run to the store. I ran out of black and blue yesterday. I don't. And I think I've got like one lure that's June bug, and it's like one lizard and June bug, and that's what we ran across yesterday. And, uh, me and Jordan, the old Bass Ninja Jordan, my oldest son, me and him were just killing it on those June bug lizards. And that was the only thing dark that we had. But since I've already got this rigged up, I'm going to try, try out this frog. Let the scum frog do its thing. Now, that is one thing I do know, is there's a lot of frogs in here. A lots of frogs. Kinda wanna try over here in this channel. See, there goes the frogs, you hear them? They're all over. Literally all over. Up there by that stump. Look at all those deer tracks, guys. Look at that. There are deer tracks everywhere. All been coming up here and drinking. It's pretty awesome. There's a bunch of trails. Like back over here, there's a bunch of trails all up there off the bank, all that coming over the top of the the berm right there. It's pretty sweet. Got a lot of deer out here. A lot of deer.
Oh yeah, there it is. There he is. He's a little guy, but we got him. Oh boy, he's a fatty too. Yeah. Oh, a little fat guy. Oh yeah, he's healthy. He's healthy. Get all the stuff off of him. Oh, there we go, guys. There we go. Look at him. He's not a tank, but that's a fish, and I'll take him. Heck yeah. He killed that worm. Killed it. All right, I'm going to get a shot. What's up, y'all? Back, Bruce Living. We're gonna call it quits. I'm gonna be down. Been out here for an hour and a half, almost two hours now. But uh, I'm fixing to take off. Kids are home from school. I'm gonna go check on them. Wife will be home from work here in just a little bit. So uh, you know, not bad. We got got a twofer. So we got two. And uh, I mean, it's not bad. I think we got a beaver problem. I think there's a beaver problem. If you can see, I don't think you can really see, but right over there, things have been chewed up. There's a bunch of uh, there's a bunch of sticks and all that from all that that's been in there, and it looks like beaver when I was over there. And then uh, over here, sides of the bank, you can see all the little dens. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of them I can see right now. That's all in there, but pond's really low we did what we could do well i did what i could do um bass ninjas weren't here but um until next time hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and then uh make sure if you're new hit me in the comments let me know and then uh oh don't forget 100 subscriber giveaway i keep on forgetting keep on forgetting 100 subscriber giveaway it's going to happen. Get in the comments. Let me know. I guess we're going to do tackles, stuff like that. Basically what everybody else does. Um, so we'll do tackles, stuff like that. I don't know. And then um, hit me in the comments. But 100 subscriber giveaway. When I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to have a giveaway. And it'll probably be on Instagram. So you'll have to follow my Instagram, which is Bruce Living. And uh, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. Um, it's Bruce living just like my YouTube channel and you have to make sure you follow me because I'll go through and I'll look and that way I can get a hold of you I can send you messages you can DM me that way let me know you're the one that won the package and all that and then where to get your address all that stuff when it happens so um, don't forget we'll get back this is Bruce living another hour or so just catching fish and and doing our thing so um, don't forget like the video, subscribe. Till next time, peace.